way of putting closure on complex concepts. We typically project labels onto people in order to better understand and identify them. In many instances, these labels create a broad and often inaccurate understanding of what is actually being presented. In America, not only are labels applied to simplify thinking, but they are often limited to only a handful of other options, and commonly, only two options. For example, in politics, despite the numerous parties that exist, we are realistically limited to either being a Republican or a Democrat. With the labels of Republican or Democrat being projected onto someone, it means that the beliefs in which these parties traditionally hold are also projected onto them. Now I want to apply this type of thinking to religion. If you ask a person what religion they are, they will instantly identify which group they belong to. Whatever stereotypes that may exist against that religion will also be placed onto them. For example, if someone claims to be Christian, then it will be assumed that they're against gay marriage. ...that Ralph was sick, a sickness that was not visible like smallpox, but no less dangerous and contagious, a sickness of the mind. You see, Ralph was a homosexual. I want to focus on how this labeling theory applies to our religious affiliations. As soon as we define ourselves as Christian or Catholic, we form a loyalty towards that specific group and then we'll feel obligated to defend that label. Similar to how we give our unquestioned loyalty to sports teams, fast food chains, celebrities, What do you mean shut up? Or anything else that allows us to construct a more solid identity. It's blameless to want to belong to a group and is only natural, but the problem arises when we fail to question our loyalties and why we became so committed in the first place. Christianity can be and has proven to be beneficial to people's lives, but what is concerning is how willing we are to follow Jesus Christ without really understanding or even ever knowing the historical origination of Him. Although it takes a great effort to eliminate our socially constructed labels or from projecting labels onto other people, we should still consider concepts or ideologies that we allow to drive our lives when we aren't even aware where those ideas developed in the first place. So whatever your religious preference is, it can be enlightening to detach yourself from that definable label and question behaviors that you may have been following throughout your life almost by habit. If your religious group doesn't promote skepticism, then you should be asking why. If you are really great and powerful, you keep your promises. Do you presume to criticize the great Oz? Oh, pay no attention to that man behind the curtain.